Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here today with a new project that will be in many parts. After I explain to you what it is, you will understand. I was looking at Pinterest for um, things to use in my watercolor my watercolor book for the um, hashtag art journal habit 2019 and as I started doing watercolors through here I became terribly fascinated with fruits and vegetables and painting them so as I watched a Russian or a Slavic um, video I thought of something that would make a cute little book so I wrote a bunch of notes down and I couldn't hardly stand it like 3 30 this morning I'm up cutting watercolor paper so this is what I did I took a 9 by 12 piece of Canson watercolor paper I cut it into three I think these are three three inch strips yeah and I overlapped them so that you know it would continue to fold and unfold there's my 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 thing my seam there from gluing two together um, I did cut it a little short so it wouldn't interfere with the thing but it's not going to affect anything that I do to it and I've done that twice on here there's one and there's the other this one's a little wider anyway so this is an accordion style watercolor paper uh, thing <laughs> so what I'm about to do and I'm not going to tell you I'm just going to show you because I'll probably fast forward through it because it's going to take some time but it will be a project that will be ongoing in 2020 uh, I don't know how vigorously I will pursue it but I have a feeling it's like so many other things that I do when I'm on it I'm on it and I don't stop till I get finished <laughs> That's my personality. I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, so I'm going to show you now what I'm going to do. And I'm not going to explain to you what it is because I kind of want to leave you hanging. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so here is my finished project. This is going to be what holds my new project for 2020. And I'm just going to call it a crate. I wanted it to look as rustic as possible. I'm going to have to figure out how to get these, these ends off, the rounded ends, off the little popsicle sticks. I managed to cut this one off, but um, the others are a little too close to anything else, so I might have to take a Dremel tool and kind of saw those off. And then maybe smooth out some of the rough edges, although I really don't care. I wanted it to look rustic. I want it to look bare bones. And this is what my book is going in. This is going to be what I store my accordion book in, right here. This is how it's going to be displayed like this, sitting, I guess, sitting up, upright like this. See those? Those got to go. All right, so in 2020, I will work on this a little bit at a time to see how it goes, and then we'll store the book inside the crate. All right? Okay, so... I, I need for this to dry for a couple days before I, wow, it's really crooked, before I start to um, dremel down the edges on these. I want to make sure that glue is really good and solid before I start fooling around with the power tool. But I wanted to build a little crate from my supplies that I have. I didn't want to spend any money doing this. This is all stuff from my stash. So this will be 100% from stash. Lord knows I have my own private Michael store. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later.